Let's look at the general equation of a conic, which we saw in the previous video. ax square plus bxy plus cy square do that a little bit better. Yeah. Cy square plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0. This equation can be written in the matrix format. It will be better if I make a little bit of changes so that the overall matrix looks neater and uh, nicer. So we've got this different color. What I'll do is I'll multiply this by 2, this by 2, and this by 2. So now we've got ax square plus 2bxy plus cy plus 2dx plus 2ey plus f equals 0. Now our matrix becomes like this. x, y, 1. x, y, 1. So by multiplication of both of these matrices, we'll get all of these terms. x square, x, y, y square, x, e, and f. As for the constants, this matrix A, B, B, uh, D, C, D, and E, E, F equals 0. Now I think it's understandable why I multiplied the 2's in these 3 places. That's because I would have a B by 2, a B by 2, a d by 2, a d by 2, e by 2, and e by 2, and uh, that doesn't look very nice. So, just take them off, and this is a much more neater matrix, and this is the matrix notation of this conic, just the general equation of the conic section. So much for these equations, but now let's try to make sense. Let's try to see what a, b, c, d, e, and f are. Uh, what the, we want to know what the six constants are. It just doesn't make enough sense to know that it's A, B, C, D, E, and F. Um, so we've seen two fundamental geometric features of a conic are its focus, which I'll represent by alpha comma beta, and the directrix, which I'll represent by Lx plus My plus N equals zero. We also know the eccentricity of a conic section, the eccentricity which I'll represent by the letter E. And let's just consider an arbitrary point on the conic section as P x comma y. We know one more equation related to conic sections. T f equals E p m. Uh, we would have seen this a little differently. We would have seen it as E equals PF by PM. Uh, but now we're going to do this format where PM tra gets transposed to the other side. I would like to square these for a reason I'll be coming to very shortly. Uh, by distance formula, we can calculate the distance between both of these points. And if we square it, we'll get this term. X minus alpha whole square plus y minus beta whole square, this is the root which is cancelled by the square, equals e square. As for pm, pm is the perpendicular distance from this point to this line, which is the directrix. So, this is given by this rather neat formula, modulus of lx plus my plus n by root of l square plus m square. So, this is the neat formula which covers a point a line and the distance the perpendicular distance between the point and the line so just plugging that over here we get lx plus my plus n whole squared divided by again the root cancels over here so l square plus m square and we get a neat equation without the roots which is why i squared this equation in the first place so now we've got this you can treat this as a uh, general equation if you wish that way but then I would like to uh, go further. I'd like to write this general equation in the terms of the other general equation that we saw before. Let me just write this general equation again, the new general equation that we just found out. 
x minus alpha whole square plus y minus beta whole square equals e square into lx plus my plus n the whole square divided by l square plus m square. If I expand both of these and this one and I transpose this whole l square plus m square to this side of the equation and I multiply all of these. In general, I simplify this whole thing. I bring it to this format. Ax squared plus by squared. Oh, sorry. Ax squared plus bxy plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0. Or rather, the different format that we saw at the start. But the 2 is multiplied in. Uh, if you get the 2's multiplied in the right place, there's a rather nifty trick to remember each of these constants. So I've got A equals, B equals, C equals, D equals, E equals, and F equals. So you could just multiply this. This is an exercise for the viewer to try. If you want, you could pause the video over here and work this out for yourself. Uh, moving on, I'll just I'll write the x square in red. So we've got l square plus m square minus e square l square. So if you notice, you've got lx over here. Uh, just write y square as well. y square is given by l square plus m square minus e square m square. So if you'll notice, the L is multiplied to the X and the M is multiplied to the Y. So, over here the trick is, it's an L square plus an M square. For both the X square and the Y square terms, the trick is, it's the L square plus M square minus E square into whatever is the coefficient of X in the directrix or Y in the directrix. As for the XY term, it is minus L M E square. Again, L because it's multiplied with the X, M because it's multiplied with the Y and E square. And it's got to be a minus because there's going to be no XY term on this side. So when I take the XY term and I put it this side, there's got to be a minus. As for the X term, I have L N E square minus alpha L square minus alpha M square. So again, it's pretty obvious if you have worked this out. Uh, I'll just write y before I move on to the trick. Yeah, so the y coefficient will be m n e square minus beta l square minus beta m square. Uh, I think it's obvious. Uh, the trick is kind of obvious now. So we've got the directrix, the coefficient of uh, the term you're looking for in the directrix into n into e square for this side minus alpha or beta again uh, it depends on whether you're picking x or y multiplied with l square and m square and subtracted from this as for f the constant f the constant if i just factorize a bit and i uh, write it a little bit better it's l square plus m square into alpha square plus beta square minus e square n square. So you've got the six coefficients a, b, c, d, e and f of the general equation in one neat box. Uh, so you know the trick as well for remembering a, b, c, d, e, f and we'll be moving on from the general equation of a conic section.